Welcome to the AAHA Outdoor Show. I'm Donnie Adair, your host, along with Donnell Adair, the co-host. And uh, we went fishing. It was a great time of the year, early, early spring. And the salmon were running in the Willamette River in the heart of downtown Portland. Brother crawling through the bushes, the creek and downstream. Shotguns, bows, it's all the same thing. Fishing for the handguns, it's all a good fun. Reclaiming our hunting heritage towards the gun. It's the African American hunting show. Take it back to tools that we were given before. It's the African American hunting show. Going back to the woods, the guns, rods, and bows. It's the African American hunting show. Take it back to tools that we were given before. It's the African American honey show. Going back to the woods with us, ride the boat. So let's go. 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 Since I'm the talent in this boat. So you say. What's up, everybody? How's your uh, sound? Ah, uh, sounds fine. Yeah, these guys didn't know they're now part of the African American Hunting Association. All right. You know, you're now African Americans. We boom anoint you, <laughs> All right. and that's All it, right. baby. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna get some fish today. And this is right in downtown Portland, folks. Yeah. Take See, a look my at the building. Is right over there, my other office. Okay. <laughs> that's the wrong office. It's a little brisk out here. Yeah, the bucket's Good luck. favorite bait of the day, uh, and herring yeah. and prawns were the only thing that people were using on this particular day. And we trolled underneath the Selwood Bridge in about 16 and a half feet of water. Actually, the depth went from 20 feet to about 16 feet. I think he's got a menagerie. Good to see. Good to see. 
see you, man. Yeah. I thought maybe you died. I was no, hoping. I, I was hoping. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Fuck you. A fella can have a dream, can he? You need, you need, if you want eggs, you need to go up higher in Oregon City where like the garbage hole or stuff like that. But this is slower water. They take herring and prawns here real good. What? Go ahead, let it run. Don't try to stop it. Yeah, if he's coming this way, I gotta get around. Hey, come yeah. around right, right there. Just, just relax. Just, just keep it on. He's hooked pretty good. Not on a prawn. Prawn? Yeah. Good job. Yep. Reel down on it. Keep the line tight. Yeah, keep the line tight. You gonna hand me the net? Reel down me. on it. You better let me net this fish for you. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. I know how you're gonna net it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it was just like this that far. Mm -hmm. Good job, bud. Remember, look, look at that. That's a nice fish. Good wow. Part. What do we call this? Sorry, Northwest Hogs on it? Good job, buddy. Yeah. Right, Good man. job. Oh, my. Nice <laughs> fish. Good job, Doug. And uh, since he caught the fish, you get the pleasure. Knock it out. Put it right there. One more. That was my foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, nice. beauty. He's a bright one. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. That's all right. Tied up, already prawn and everything. Yeah, maybe we ought to put a couple more prawns out than uh, Harry. did not yeah, want to leave the water. Right there. That's a nice one. I'd say 17, 16, 17 pounds. We got Hold it up to 15. our camera there. 15, that's it. One of the bigger nets. Hey, uh, here, go ahead. Hold it. Hold you it said done. fish on it. I thought you were talking about somebody <laughs> else and your rod's pumping down. Turn it to the side. <laughs> so the camera Good job. That way. Hey. Oh, yeah. 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 I got it. All right. Got him, got him. Looks like it took brush up against the prop Ooh, one time. Right after that. We're in downtown Portland nice. catching fish, man. Yeah. I should be at the office. This is the oh, office. Oh, excuse me. I am at the office. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. All day we've gone nothing and bang. All right, bang. Three, All right, two, one. Hey, this is Donnell again back at you with the Afternoon American Outdoors show. And I have just caught my first Chinook salmon 15 pounder with my left hand at that. So I'm feeling pretty good. Gave it pretty pretty good fight but uh it's gonna be on a dinner table tonight all right uh, are you gonna come back salmon fishing again oh, yes i am all right as many times what, as possible. what do you think about northwest hawk hunters hey, northwest hawk hunters is the place to be as right. you can see well, check them out on the web check, check them out on our website, website and their website right all right Welcome back to the Outdoor Show. My guest today, Pam Weatherspoon from yes. uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters Program. Thank you very much Thank for coming. Thank you so much for allowing and me to be here. And my little brother, 
Drayvon Stevens. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Back in the house, man. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters. And one of the things I was so excited about was that uh, we're using our uh, passion for the outdoors and encouraging people to take kids out to the outdoors and have some kind of adventure or experience, whether that That's be great. fishing, hiking, boating. Because the outdoors is just a great place to, to learn things and experience things and mentor kids. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about your program, mm -hmm. but I also wanted to share some footage of Dre going out and catching his first trout. That's we did exciting. that last Saturday. So, uh, well, Pam, first tell me a little bit about... Uh, your role with Big Brothers yes, Big Sisters. Yes. Um, I've been working for Big Brothers Big Sisters now for three years, actually this last week. Um, and my role there is I'm the African American Mentoring Programs Director. And in that role I get to go out in the community and talk to folks and really engage them and get them excited about the opportunity to really play an, a big role and an impact in a child's life, especially in the lives of children um, that are African American. And that's how I met you. Right. Um, and what we found is a few years ago that we really didn't have a lot of African American males that were coming to us consistently to mentor our youth. And so we knew we needed to do something innovative and we needed to um, really start a program and an initiative to really get more folks engaged. And so about two years ago we started, we put a council together, we started doing some really cool events to really bring the community out and learn about the opportunity and how they could play a big role and an impact in a child's life. Well, you certainly impacted me when I heard <laughs> you talk about it and, yeah. and I rushed to sign up yeah. and uh, after going through the process and everything, they hooked me up with, with Dre. What do you think about Big Brothers and Big Sisters program, Dre? I think it's great. It's a lot of fun. It could help you meet people and get to know people. The, the thing I like about uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, too, is that, you know, it, you encourage us to come out and mentor kids, but we get exposed to great kids like Dre. And I'm learning a lot of things <laughs> from him. And, uh, he's a wonderful uh, student. And he's getting the opportunity. He already told me, like this morning, he has some college credits and things. He hasn't even started high school yet. Oh, my and goodness. And so, uh, awesome. you know, I just got hooked up with just a great person who's enriching my life, too. And that's what I would tell people about getting a big brother or a little brother or a little sister is that they will enrich your life as well. It's not all you one way. It's really a, a two-way relationship mm -hmm. that you're... Uh, that you're building and, and sharing with other people. It's just great. Yeah, it definitely is. And we know that by just spending a little bit of time, it really does ultimately make an impact in a child's life to be able to have new experiences like going fishing and you're going to be going um, hunting soon. It really does open up doors and opportunity for youth um, by just having some simple experiences and taking them along with you to do mm -hmm. things that you really love doing mm -hmm. and you get to share that. So it's that's really cool and it's exciting that you guys are getting to experience that together. Well, Dre has a lot of great guys, his granddad, uncle, and so forth in his life, but they don't do as much outdoors. So that's why it's, it's good that I had an opportunity to meet with him and, and share with him my passion for the outdoors because it takes a village to raise a child. you got to mm -hmm. see a man to be a man. All those things yeah. that are part of our philosophy here at African American uh, Hunting Association. Mm -hmm. So right now, I want to take a look at some of that footage of last Saturday's fishing trip. We'll be back. These are some of the kinds of fish that are here at the St. Louis Ponds in the mid Willamette Valley just uh, south of Woodburn, west of Jervis, Oregon. As you can see, largemouth bass, black crappie, white crappie, channel catfish, and bluegill and rainbow trout, which have been planted in here today for this youth event. Yeah, my name is uh, Tom Murtaugh, and I'm a district fish biologist okay. with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife out of Clackamas. Okay, so you're in that, that Clackamas area. Yeah, and this is part of our district, and this is a youth angling event we host every year down here in April. And we usually get you know a couple hundred kids and families coming down. It's a great time to share some experiences with your kids and get some fish. down, that means a fish is on there. Now, because you got live bait, you don't have to snatch that real quick. You let him eat it a little bit, okay? 
and then yeah, you will uh, move it to you can feel it kind of tight, then you snap. And I'm trying to help you with that. Okay. A little bit of patience, but there's a lot of fish in there. We should get something in a minute. Oops. <laughs> Threw the bait off. Uh, I'm not good on camera. <laughs> that's, the, that's why we call it fishing. Here, I'll get you the... Oh, man, that's a perfect cast, man. That was just beautiful. Come on. 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 Get off. Go back. Wow. <laughs> See, he'll get off. All right, man. Give me some. Wait a African American Hunting Association, my brother. Give me five. It's your first trout? That is a magnificent, tasty little booger. See, that's why I told you to get away from the bank. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> Beautiful. Give me five on that drink. What you do is take this. Man, you got dinner, man. <laughs> Don't forget to go to our website, aahunt.com, where you can find a lot of great information about hunting, fishing, boating, archery, camping. If it's outdoors, it's there. Also, we want to remind you that this program is brought to you in association with NLE Media, making you look good in a memorable way. Go to nlemedia.com. We want to thank our guests today, Pam Weatherspoon from Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and also Drayvon Stevens. Want to thank Donnell for co hosting. Want to thank Bill Gaither out at Northwest Hog Hunters for again taking us on a successful trip. And we want you to get out there and get your rod and reel and get out there and have a great time on the water. Thank you for watching the outdoor show. And I'll see you in the field. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> here, you want I was like, it's with that, coming. Uh, uh, I needed some of that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. And in five, four, three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, that's bad. <laughs> Do it again. Hold on, start that over. All right, I got my new cameraman, Dre Stevens, for AAHA Outdoor Show. And we're just out here at St. Louis Ponds, Mid Willamette Valley, catching some nice trout. Nothing like them. Like so, how has it been going with the fish? Pretty good. You know, Dre got one first. Man, you were bad. I, I, <laughs> I applaud you that. And I ran and I got that on tape. And then I had to catch them a little bit bigger. Sure. <laughs> but that's dinner. You know, they're not biting that good, but we got a couple of really nice trout. As a matter of fact, let me show them to you. See those in there, Trey? See, that's, those are nice trout. I don't know what those are. 16 inch trout, maybe? 16, 18 inch. A couple pounds a piece. That's some good eating. Now, I caught that nice one right there. And Dre caught this lovely one right there. Yeah. All right. AAHA on location, baby. Hey, everybody. Welcome to AAHA's new Canon camera. We'll see you in the field. You can break up now. Pheasant. Okay. In five, 
four, three, two. And then we went back to Gendathlu. Sing it enough, sorry, I'm Starship Trooper. <laughs> that was a movie. We're going back to Kandathru now. <laughs> okay, that's a keeper, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to Kandathru. <laughs> that, that, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> that, that yeah, it did. At the time, I was supposed to say, we are going back for a chucker. Now I need a tissue. All right, in five, four, three, two. We appreciate you looking at our show. Uh, you know, start Whatever that, that show is. In yeah. five, four, three, two. Thank you for watching the outdoor show. And as you get out there and enjoy your own experiences, as you see those pheasant and chuckers take flight, or those geese and ducks take flight, or that elk majestically standing on a mountainside, remember one thing. All God's creatures have a place right next to the mashed potatoes. We'll see you in the field. Go to crawling through the bushes, they're creeping downstream. Shotguns, bows, it's all the same thing. Fishing poles and handguns, it's all a good fun. Reclaiming our hunting heritage, it's a noisy gun. It's the African American hunting show. Taking back the tools that we were giving before. It's the African American hunting show. Going back to the woods, guns, rods, and bows. It's the African American hunting show. Taking back the tools that we were giving before. It's the African American hunting show. Going back to the woods, guns, rods, and bows. Let's go. 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 I'm Dre Stevens, and I'm new to the show, and I just caught my first trial.